so okay. short. I <laughs> love her, but she's so short. And ready. All right, here with Paula Creamer. Paula, you ran the gambit today. <laughs> one through six, all made all those numbers on the card today. Um, had an ace, an eagle, um, quite a few birdies, a couple bogeys, one double. double. Just kind of walk me through those. Uh, let's start with the obvious. Go ahead, take me through the uh, the eighth hole. Um, it was 155. It was just a nice little three-quarter seven iron, and um, I hit it perfect like how we wanted, and it, and it ended up going in. Uh, you know, and then the hole out on um, five was 102, 104 yards and hit a 52 just right at it, and I think it one bounce and went in. Um, I hit my, my irons really well today uh, I just I've made a lot of putting mistakes and just some mental errors here or there um, unfortunately my scorecard is a roller coaster um, but that's golf what uh, what's been working so well you know obviously made your first start last week mm -hmm. um, coming back this week didn't start out so great, but then you know backed it up on on, on Friday and, and really carted a solid round. What's been the key for you? Do you think obviously a lot of rest? Um, you know I haven't obviously played for a year, and then you know my body's changed, everything's changed. I have a daughter, you know, um, so it's a little different than coming back from an injury like I have in the past. Um, but I've worked really hard, and I know where my game is at, and uh, you know I've been playing playing well at home, um, and it's just you know competition's just different out here, and I have to be able to you know adapt to that and. Uh, you know, trust the process of what, you know, my team and I have been doing. And I just need some competitive rounds under my belt, really. And, uh, you know, I, I feel good with where my game is at. I know it's an up and down thing. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I just need to, you know, stay on path with, with what we're doing because I really do think it's going to be, you know, produce great things um, here eventually. Well, and it already has. I mean, today is a, a testament to that. What's that partnership with Grant Waite been like? Um, he he works with a lot of our players out here, but how much has he been uh, critical to your success so far? Yeah, um, you know, Grant uh, started working. I started working with him last September, um, you know, pregnant and all. And uh He's definitely watched my body transition, um, you know, over a year, you know, a year together, and uh, we had the time to be able to break down everything. Um, we had the opportunity to do that since I wasn't out here in maternity leave, and uh, we took advantage of that, and we have changed all aspects of my game, and uh, I trust him, and I trust with what he uh, has, you know, kind of envisioned with my golf swing and what we can do, and um, now it's just up to me to take it to the course. How, uh, we asked you a lot, this, a lot about this last week, but how, how cool is it just to be out here as a mom yeah. um, doing what you did today? I mean, that, that, those, are, those are some highlights Hilton's going to see in a yeah. few years, I'd imagine. Oh, it's exciting. I mean, I know I'm, I made a bogey on the last hole, and there's, you know, bogeys all over the place. But, you know, overall, uh, I'm... I'm not only doing it for myself, but I'm doing it for her. And to be able to, to tell her, actually, you were here when I did that. I mean, you were at the hotel, but you you were physically here. It's it's special. And, uh, you know, I, I keep thinking that um, when I'm out here, I just want to I want to show her that, it, you know, you can come overcome adversity and come over everything and, you know, put your mind to it. Um, you're strong enough to be able to achieve what you want. Um, with the ACE, um, you get to give a $20,000 donation um, to the St. Jude Children's Hospital for oh. Cancer Research. Um, you know, obviously you want to come out here, want to play good golf, want to hit shots like that. Yeah. What does it mean to be able to contribute that money to a, a place like St. Jude? Oh, that's that's awesome. Um, I actually, that that's really cool that you're know, able to do that. It makes you want to go make more hole-in-ones and things like that. Um, and they're hard to come about, but uh, hopefully that helps, you know, a family, a child, um, anybody, you know, really. Um, I, I'm, I feel very honored that I'm able to, to do that for them. And then just finally, what did you learn out here today that you're going to carry with you into hopefully the next three rounds? Well, I, I've said it already, but the superintendent here just did a, a magnificent job of getting this golf course to what it is. I mean, these green speeds are so much faster than what I even envisioned. And uh, I clearly, my, my putting showed that I had so many three putts. But, um, you know, I, I just need to you know be aggressive when I can. And then there's a lot of holes where par is, is great and you take that. Um, so going into tomorrow, that's kind of going to be my game plan. Try to still be aggressive, but conservative in certain areas. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. All right.